you shouldn't be writing your screenplays right now. Okay, like I said, at this stage, you should have no idea how your screenplay is going to work. Remember, the screenplay is is literally the the, the 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 word, the visual representation of what's on the screen. You don't know what you're filming yet. Okay, you should be writing your story idea. Okay, your characters, all that kind of stuff. You want to have that in the can first before you start doing the screenplay because it'll be a lot easier. If you know your story, you know what's going to happen, then it's easy to write a screenplay. So no one should be writing screenplays just yet. They should be doing their stories. Uh, I've had a chat with a few of you and there's some really good stories, um, really good story ideas that are interesting. They're, they're, they're a teen movie, that kind of genre, but they're topical. They're about things that interest you. They're about issues that you want to talk about. This is your chance to speak out on those things, you know, like we talked about. If you think maybe school should be, you know, run from 10 till 2, um, you feel that you need more sleep, you know, write about that, you know, work that into your teen movie. You can make it a comedy, you can make it a drama, it's completely up to you, okay? So think about things, basically things that <coughs> annoy you, things that, you know, affect you, okay? These are perfect ways, these are perfect bits of information to write about. So, before our next class, okay, I want you to have thought about that. You've got a few days. Think about your story. Think about your characters. Start writing that down. You've got your iPads. Whenever you have an idea that pops into your head, just jot, jot, jot it down. Have it there, okay? I need to have all of those reviews before that day, okay? We talked about the consequences. Why? So we'll need those. Um, and finally, your groups, okay? Like I said, groups of four because you'll be working together. You'll be in each other's films. You can be multiple characters if you like. That's fine. Um, but you'll be making four unique films, four unique screenplays. Okay, everything is... It's your work. Okay, so it'll be very important that you work together. Don't go anywhere, please. It'll be very important that you work together on this because if the people in those four groups, they're going to affect not only their movie but yours if, they don't work, if you don't work together. So it's really, really important. I'm going to have final say on these groups as well. Okay, so when it comes time... After we do our screenplays and you've talked about your groups, I'm going to actually give you the yes or no that you can work with these people. So you need to impress me and not waste time. Before I go, we talked about taglines. Okay, now again, we would have got through all this if we didn't have that little chat for seven minutes at the start. All right, so this is why I need you in here. I need you focused so we don't have to waste, you know, I don't want to waste your time. Um, so don't waste mine. So we talked about taglines, okay, or the log lines of a movie. Here are an example of about 13 of them. So, Easy Rider um, is uh, from the 69, actually. It's all about kind of um, motorbikes, motorbike riding, all right? So the tagline was, a man went looking for America and couldn't find it anywhere. Easy Rider. All right, Jaws. We know Jaws, okay. You'll never go in the water again. That, that's, what, that's his tagline. So what it's saying is, here's a movie about Jaws, and that's the line. It's saying, oh, you're going to watch this movie. It's going to freak you the hell out. All right, you are not going in the water. So it's already trying to say clearly what this movie's going to do. Um, Taxi Driver. Please don't watch Taxi Driver. Um, on every street in every city in this country, there's a nobody who dreams of being a somebody. Um, it's got Robert De Niro. Yeah, it's, it's De Niro, one of De Niro's best movies. Please don't watch it. It's rated R. Um, yeah. But it's, it's crazy. Uh, you'll, you'll know this one, Alien, you know, in space, no one can hear you scream. That's a bad one. Um, then these are all movies from the 70s and 80s, by the way. Um, that's a little skanky, right? That's, that's Tootsie. You probably haven't seen it. 82. Uh, what do you get when you cross a hopelessly straight, starving actor with a dynamite red sequin dress? Notice how it said cross. Obviously, it's about cross-dressing, so they work that in there. Um, Is that a guy? Damn, uh, this one here, quiz show, 50 million people watching, but no one saw a thing. You know, they're all there. Naked Gun, um, The Final Insult, from the brother of the director of Ghost. So it's trying to even be funny in its name. Uh, dumb and Dumber, for Harry and Lloyd, every day is a no-brainer. Because they're dumb, so no brains. Oh. So can you see what they're doing there? All right. War is hell, but peace is, you know, colorful metaphor, boring. Um, Alien vs. Predator, whoever wins, we lose. You know, yeah. Batman, why is it serious? Yeah. Inception, your mind is the scene of the crime. So you can see what they're doing there. All right. Awesome. See you around. See you. Can I get my thing out of the bin?